Uh, hi, uh, my name's Kurt Steiner, and I don't know if this is the correct phone number, but I talked with a fellow who used to be an old pro ball pitcher, and he had a uh, fix on a place where there might be some good skipping stones, and he's, I forgot everything he told me except what I thought he said was, my number's easy to remember, it's 837-BILL. So I'm calling 837-BILL, and if this is the guy, and you still want to share that information with me, you can get me at 837-7147. Thanks. I mean, I'm figuring if we load one of those bags up and it's 80 to 100 pounds and we get four of those, we try to fill that four, we try to get four. It's 400 pounds, what, four or five times a year? Plus what, plus what we just have laying around, so like a ton. Is that right? 400 pounds a shot times five, yeah. Yeah, I probably, I probably pick up, we probably pick up a ton of stones a year. Is this sort of like a romantic getaway for you guys? No. <laughs> I don't think so. No, we really don't have a romantic getaway place, I don't think. That dog's exhausted. She just won't give up. Well, first, this crate of rocks, right, represents just what I would say, this is raw collection. This is just how I picked it up off the beach. You know, so it's pre-sorted, because I'm only picking up good ones. But I know everything in here is pretty good in one way or another. So what I do is I go through and I separate rocks by type. and quality and size and I don't know guys you know it ain't right how much time I spend doing this <laughs> it ain't right I will actually spend a day here and there like doing some weightlifting to get my leg strength up and doing a lot of uh, documentation of my practices with video and audio and reviewing that. My leg drive and my trunk twist and my arm swinging all add up. And it's really not that hard to do. Just basically go, go. Go on the leg, go on the twist. But anyway, I can really feel like I get my whole power into the rock, which is the, the thing I've been trying to do for years. To answer your question, I spend enough time to interfere with my life. <laughs> okay, this is my dedication to Kurt and Russ loosely, so, you know, it's not too corny. 
Jim Thorpe and Babe Ruth are alive today, but they're not playing football and baseball. They're out skipping stones. Yeah, that's right. They're coming out of the factory and off the mountain to breathe the clean, fresh air and contemplate the water's rhythm. They have built the mountain one stone at a time, and with a bucket of rocks, they put a turbo on a leisurely day out in the river, pond, or lake. Uh, Kurt didn't like the turbo part, but it's my book. The two people who are the most competitive are absolutely Russ and Kurt. Like they've been going back and forth for over a decade. And I learned from just watching them that I don't want to get competitive about this. I don't want it to be a competitive thing about me versus someone else. Competition's good, and, and if that brings out the best in them and even others, hey, I'm, I'm all for that. But I've never had the world record taken away from me. Kurt Mountainman Steiner and Russ Rock Bottom Buyers, have, they have a running competition. Uh, Kurt's the former record holder, Russ is the current record holder, and they just go back and forth. I think it's fun. You know, it's a nice friendly competition, but it's a rivalry, and it's okay. You know, the numbers were 20s. 20 was a huge skip. You know, 25 was a giant skip. Kurt did a 40 in a competition. What did that do? I mean, that's just like, what? He skipped the stone 40 times. That's just, that's unheard of. You know, and then you just got me this like, well, hell, if he could do it, I could do it. There is a funny story about, like, about 10 years ago or more even, when Russ was just coming on the scene and he was really starting to get good, I gave him a rock. I said, here, here's some, you know, here. You, some good rocks will help you throw better. <laughs> and then he proceeded to beat me in the tournament with that rock and he took first place, you know. So I was like, okay, we have to draw lines as to who we share with. <laughs> I beat Kurt for the first time ever in a in the, in the stone skipping tournament in Franklin. And I just, I said something and, and it was like just to the effects of like, you know, it just takes, you know, like one lucky throw. And, uh, and, and he said something back like, yeah, that was a lucky throw. And I just, I turned to my friend and I was like, oh, and that'll cost him the world record. This is a sanctioned event to try to break the Guinness Book of World Records. The participant is Russ Byers. He's going to go for 40, 45 for a... Yeah, or 50. Yeah. You lose your crown and you start thinking, well, who's to blame? And okay, it's that guy. Now, I thought we were having a friendly competition and being all chummy about it and now he's got the world record you know I would be stupid you know to, to think that he wasn't ultimately gonna try because he had the talent to do so Getting the record wasn't as exciting as you think, you know, just because it took time. But, uh, you know, I mean, I, I looked at everything that's come out of it. And I mean, it's been a lot, you know. The top baseball card, Japan invited me over for a TV show. I went right to Paris right after that. You saw I got that, uh, that Ripley thing. You know, they, you know, they drew a picture of me throwing uh, off of that one picture at the river. And it's kind of that, you know, cartoonish, hey, no that cartoonish picture, and that's really cool. And then um, there's a crossword puzzle in the LA Times. I mean, that is, you know, I mean, that's really neat. I don't really ever think about it until somebody brings it up. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't even have it hanging up right now. You know, if somebody wants to see it, I gotta go, <laughs> I gotta find it. It is cool to have it.
not everybody is rewarded equally according to their quality of contribution. Well, you guys were an example. The first thing you did was find Russ's name and go to him first, right? That's across the board. Russ, I believe, had paid trips to France, China, Las Vegas, but it was about the offer he had just received to skip, I think possibly for Discovery Channel, against a robot. It was an annoying, aggravating, angering, and it kicked me into what I've been waiting for. My whole persona, if you will, is built around the scientific approach. Right, the scientific method of stone skipping. If, if one person did a little bit of digging, they would have seen, you know what, yeah, Russ is the number one guy, but this other guy talks so much more about robots and physics and all this stuff. Maybe he ought to be there too, right? I mean, you, Russ can have France and he can have China, but I really should have had the robot. That's all there is to it. I have something extra yet to do for stone skipping. And if I'm going to do that, having the record is almost like sine qua non. Is that the term? You know? You gotta have it or nothing else follows. So I'm gonna take it or try to the best of my ability. I kinda have a double or a quadruple life and so I'm going to, I'm not sure I'm going to let this stuff go to print, as they say. But I'm going to show you guys some of these other lives that normally get buried publicly. And the first stop here is a small one. But two of my tires leak air, and I have to get air in the tire every day. <laughs> I just want this tire to get me through the summer before I spend, you know, 20 bucks, get a new one mounted. Every tire I've ever bought was a used tire pulled out of the garbage. I think it was the extra weight of the rocks that broke, popped the cord on it though, but, so. So now we're good for another 24 hours. And I'm doing good, I still got 130 bucks for the month. So. I, this is this is the upscale place in town. Like that's uh, everything in here is double what it costs across the street. All right, excuse me. So here you're going to see, you know, upper upper middle class. It's kind of sad when you're like embarrassed to go to a grocery store because you get you feel like you're getting judged, you know. Like here, now see that. Organic raisin bran, a buck eighty-five for fourteen ounces is not too bad. I'm gonna grab three of those. Oh, those mashed potatoes have been languishing for weeks. <laughs> Good enough. EBT. Five fifty-five. EBT. It's crazy that the world is run by crazy people, and I can't just reach out and fix that. I'm like a guy with like 10 Facebook friends, you know, and I don't write to any of them. And I don't tweet, and I, I just got a cell phone for the last time six months ago. But I've skipped a hell of a lot of rocks. You know, it's time now to maybe skip a few less rocks and maybe talk to a few more people and see if they are also interested in skipping rocks. This is a, you know, a malnourished culture. This is nutrition. <laughs> it never occurred to me through all my childhood that anybody would try to skip a number of skips, a lot of skips. For me, what you did when you skipped rocks was you tried to like jump over things and and skip down wave troughs and, and try to make it land in a strong wind and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Any little body of water of any kind becomes something I have to try out, you know? And I, I have a whole list of these things in my head that I've been accumulating for years and years that I want to just go like crash. 
one of these days I'm just gonna be will take like 10 grand and just go skip everywhere I want. And if I get fined for it, I'll just pay the fee, you know, or spend the night, you know. But like, I mean, how do you not skip a rock like in the reflecting pool in DC, you know? About 10 national and international skippers will compete in the professional divisions, including last year's champion, Max Top Gun Steiner. Oh, they changed your name. The event is staged by the Mackinac Island Stone Skipping and Grapolkin Club. Not bad on the second page. The Frank Beckman Show, News Talk 760 WJR. Hello, Eric. Hello, Frank. It's always good to talk to you, and thank you for having us on your show again this year. Max, what's the it's secret, my friend? The secret is uh, you just got to grip it and rip it. You throw it as hard as you can and see how far it can go. What's the what's the all-time record? Uh, you hold it, don't you, Max? I don't ho hold it currently. The, the record right now is 51, but uh, I have sent a skip in the Guinness right now, and they're, they're reviewing it. I can't tell you what it is right now, but... Why not? All we can say right now is he's way up there in numbers. We have to... Uh, Guinness won't let us say until it's confirmed what that number is. But we may have a new Guinness record holder. And we were lucky enough that the current Guinness book record holder, it was his camera and his video, and you even hear him on the tape go, uh-oh, I think my record was broken. When you depart the vessel on Mackinac Island, you will be approaching a very busy main street. Turn to the right, and you'll be heading to the heart of downtown. Enjoy your stay here on Mackinac Island. Please watch your step, and we will see you on your return trip. Rock! Oh, you've got that paperwork, now I can hit you up on camera here. This is the, that he, used his camera and videotape Max in Franklin, Pennsylvania on August 23rd, 2013 at 2 p.m. Holy cow! This is supposed to be and stone skipping. Ross, did he just sign your Guinness for me? Oh! <laughs> Good luck, my friend. <laughs> Russ, is, he's helped me a lot in this sport. Ever since I was 12 years old, he was giving me stones, telling me how to throw it, giving me little techniques on what to do. The biggest one that I've taken from him is the uh, grip it and rip it method. He said just grip it as tight as you can, put some spin on it, and just throw it as hard as possible. I think he wants me to get it so he can take it back from me. I think he's sitting on, he's sitting on something that he knows that he can beat his own record again. <laughs> I have this thing about tradition and turf. See, that's the thing. Even if Max breaks the record, I don't think it's his Max. No pun intended, right? You don't try to set the world record until what you're presenting to the world is the best you really feel you could ultimately be. And I don't think, you know, the, the kid's there yet, which is scary because, you know, if his, if his base level is like 60 or 70, well, look out, right? But he should have gotten up to the look out stage before he, he went like, ta-da. Hi, young man. Can I help you? And your hometown is? Which one of you? You plan on winning? Okay. Thank you. I hope so. You know what you win? Yeah, the traditional prize, you know, for stone skipping is fudge. Skip stones for fudge. Who makes a shirt like that, you know? My mom did. She made that shirt. That's my tradition. If you're just going to hold an event where people skip stones, you know, go ahead. That's not what I'm in this for. If you need anything signed, just pick it up. They will sign it. Russ Rock Bottom Byers is here. He is the Guinness Book Record holder in the blue. I want to hear what the tricks are because he gave you some tips. Just spin it. Take a little one just in case things aren't going good. Throw it sidearm and keep your finger right on it. Hey, if you win any fudge using my stones, I get 25%. Just, I'm just letting you know that. There you go. Thank you. The amateur division will be closing here in a couple minutes. So if you have a scorecard, finish it up and bring it to the scorer's table. 
Well, the water's kind of rough. It's kind of windy, but the sun's perfect. If you catch the wake, if you play the waves with the ferry boats coming in, it'll be a good day. It'll be a good day. Ah, so how do we really judge a stone skipping? It's not super scientific, but I think that we like that it's not super scientific, you know, and we just trust on average that our group of five people is gonna get it right. Okay, all professionals down by the water, judges down by the water. Our first skipper is up. There you go. A lot of pity pats at the end. Not bad, Michael Chomper. 18. 18 and 18. Ross, rock bottom. Fighters! Oh, it hit a fish! We have a seven on that, a seven. Max is up next. How the hell you get off the street? Uh, I just found out the night before we came up, my, my mom's neighbor called and said that she had left an ambulance the day before, and the light was still on at the house, and I hadn't heard anything. She just really didn't want to talk about it. She didn't know what it was. She wasn't sure, but it didn't sound good. Hello? No, I just, it, you come and go. I mean, I'm on Mackinac Island. It's just not a good phone reception. So how long is she going to be in the hospital? Okay, so it's four, it's stage four. Is it, is it treatable then? Okay. I can't stack things too high because going up to my place, everything will fall off. It bounces so bad. This is my lot right here. All this to the left. Home sweet home. Aha! Hear that? I'm alive again. I'm not a big possession ownership kind of guy, but it's nice to have like your own den. That's what this place is. It's the dream of dry land after a rocky sea or a stormy sea. It's promising. All right, cool. Yeah, anytime you catch me, where I can pretend that all I'm doing is all there is in the world. I'm pretty cool. It's when I go places where it seems like whatever I'm trying to do in the world is meeting obstacles that I keep, you know, I, I get kind of bent out of shape. 
Yeah, that's pretty honest, I think. My mention came out in the 2005 50th anniversary golden edition, which was just kind of a cute coincidence. Most Ducks and Drakes. Ducks and Drakes is kind of the old school Northern European name for stone skipping. Record for the most consecutive skips of a stone on water is 40, you know, held by me, set in Franklin, September 14th, 2002. Here is a photocopy of the original 2002 Guinness certificate, right? Now everybody, you know, hold your hats. I'm hoping to have this exact same thing you know, but to have this number here, like upgraded, like to double that, <laughs> okay, like a minimum double, we're going for minimum double of that. Did, did you get that? My first attempt at the record was in July of 2013. And I, I skipped on what they call the reservoir ponds at uh, Presque Isle in Erie. And I built these big risers thinking that would help to capture my video. You know, they're four feet up. So I had some angle, but it still wasn't enough to, to make me confident that anybody counting those skips would do a good job. All right, this is Red Bridge. This is the Allegheny Reservoir. So this is my second choice because it was overhead and I knew it would work because I had done one practice with a camera here before and you could see pretty clearly the definition of each skip. Uh, so I tried it here and it worked great. You know, it was 11 in the morning. It was, uh, it was windy at first, but then it went calm. And then I had about five or 10 skips in a row that were all like really beautiful. And I just went through and finally, you know, it took me days of looking at frame by frame to pick out the one that looked really good. And uh, that's the one I am about to submit. Is now the time for you to watch that? Well, I'll watch it. I mean, I, I love watching a good skip. Pull it up, let's go. <laughs> Wow. How far was ahead. that? You know what I mean? That's, man, that's a nice skip. You just have to slow that down, you know, and keep inching the frames. Does it leave the frame for a second? Looked like it. You know, but, you know, and, you know, but that shouldn't matter on the skips. You should be able to tell by the, you know what I mean? It looked like the stone man left, but the pattern's still on the water. You know what I mean? I mean, that's a great skip, you know, and, that, and it's hard to get it on film. You know that I just don't, I, you know, if he can get it in, God bless him. I just see some, I see some procedural problems with getting that in. Hey, how you doing? You still on? Oh yeah, yeah, it's fine. These guys are going right. to be watching us. All right, yep, sounds good. All right, uh, this morning we're here with Dr. Ron Mattis from Pitt campus in Pennsylvania. And uh, what we have agreed to do is sit down with uh, my world record stone skip attempt video and uh, come up with a, a consensus uh, between the two of us on what we actually think that the skip may be. So I got five so far, then I got a 250. Right there. And then 251, I said, is another one. This one seems actually pretty reasonable. I don't. I think I'm the only one who didn't count it. Did it's it. hard not to count that. I would have to say. So two, two sixty two and two sixty four. I said there were two. Right and here. One. And then what's the next one? Two 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 sixty four. Where am I? Okay. Right. So I'm saying there's those were there are two there. Right. And then two sixty six. I say is another one. Well, see back in there, I had four in the two fifty five to two fifty seven range. Oh, okay. I did too. 
Two, three, four, five, six, seven, sixty-eight, sixty-nine, seventy. Today is the day that I finally submit my world record attempt at stone skipping to Guinness Records. See, without knowing Kurt's number, and he's not telling me, and I'm not telling him, um, who knows where it's going to land. I mean, either one of them could get it. But uh, if Kurt has not mailed his paperwork in, I'm telling you, uh, hands down, there's a new Guinness record holder. I'm anxious just because there's a lot of people that remind me about it. People at work are starting to call me Skipper because uh, I'm a stone skipper. So I got that nickname. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of nerve wracking too, because like, if I don't get it, then I will just like, what are the people gonna think, you know? But it's all, it's all in Guinness's hands right now. So we're just waiting to hear back. Fuck, does that hurt? Oh God, I'm so stiff all over, man. I hit my finger off my arm. Oh, oh, that hurt. I was tearing these uh, computers down, taking the drives out of them. They're my mom's computers, and I had a wire in there, and I grabbed the wire. It was on an LED or something. It was the last wire on the power supply, and I went to snap it off, and when I came up, I took the end of my finger right across the sharp edge of the computer case and cut it off. You know, just, the, I mean, it's deep. Like, you could just see just the tip of the bone, you know. So I got the whole damn tip of this finger, the throwing finger. So now this is the new throwing finger. This will defeat everybody. Whether he admits it or not, the stone skipping thing defines him. It's who he is. You know, he, he holds the record right now. And that's something he's very proud of. So the, all these little setbacks, he's had a bad couple years with his ankle. He's got PMR and that attacks his joints. Now, now the finger and you know the things he's doing have to have to be done. I mean, he has to help his mom. There's things that are just like stacking against them. So we'll just I'll just hope for the best for him. It's like rheumatoid arthritis, but just too many. You, you, you just get inflamed. You get inflammation going. You just don't, you know, something's off. But the other day I realized it because I was going down the steps and every time I put my leg down the step, my knee would wobble like it's trying to give out. It just weakens you. You can't put stuff over your head and, you know, you'll go up the steps, you'll have to go up either sideways or push on your knees when you go up. And so it flared up the other day and then I kind of got it back down, but it just sucks. It just makes everything hard. Scientific American. Electric cures. I was reading this article on shock medicine. Stimulation of the nervous system could replace drugs for inflammatory and autoimmune diseases. And I was like, I read this and I was like, by God, this is Russ. This is Russ. This would fix them. It's just like your best friend and I don't know, you're skiing or something. And, and he gets tired and can't do another run down the slope. You know, the point is you, you got to go together or you don't go. I mean, I hate to say this, I just don't see her, I don't see her getting any better than she is right now. I don't know, her memory's real bad. I mean, I, like hours and hours, she forgets what we just talked about. So, I told her it was getting frustrating, but being that she was dying, I'd forgive her.
Well, you guys want to throw some? Hey, Mom, it's me. It's like 6.30. I was calling you. It's the tournament's tomorrow, so I was just calling you to tell you that I'm sorry you're not going to beat her. That's going to kind of suck. First one you missed, but uh, I'll let you know. I'll probably, uh, my shoulder's not too good, so I'll probably lie to you about the results and tell you that I won anyway. Talk to you later. Love you. Bye. These are my practice rocks, and they're very high quality. I, I only use them for tournament warm-up. And these are, I'm only allowed to throw them in a tournament. You know, and they're like, Tell me why. because they're too good, they're too rare. You know, it's a pretty good throw. Kurt, no relation, Steiner. Eric. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. I heard Max is not here. Am I wrong he about that? He could not get in. Shit. We were going to fly him through on the red eye last night. Yeah. And it just, the whole timing, it just couldn't, it couldn't pull it off. It just wouldn't, wouldn't work. Well, He's that's. so bummed out. It is the missing ingredient right now. Franklin, let's hear it. This is it. This is the professionals. Mike, airtight alibi. The gentleman that won Mackin Island this year. Mike has skipped in every great lake. He has skipped over Niagara Falls. No, had too big of an arc at the end. Come on, skip stones for fudge, my friend. Rust rock bottom buyers! The current Guinness Book Record holder with 51 skips. A hometown favorite boy definitely skips stones for fudge right here. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. It's still going. That's it. What will the score be for Russ? Rock bottom five. A 23 just took the lead. Kurt Steiner, former Guinness Book Record holder, the mountain man. Nice, 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 nice. It's still going, it's still going. It's still going, it's still going. He's definitely come strong. Let's see what the judges are gonna say. Will they give him a good score or will they not? Judge, a 27, a 27, nice job. Next up is the Black Lab, Paul. Drew from the Great White North. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Come on, Drew. Nice! Nice! That thing is still going! It is still going! It is still going! For Canada, folks! There it is! Right there from Canada! That was outstanding! That was outstanding! A 34! A 34! Oh my God, that was unbelievable. Spider-Man, you're up next. Winner of last year's tournament right here, folks. The Pennsylvania champion. Hey Dave, just one thing. Right now, 
The Great White North has it. We cannot let the trophy go over the border here right now. It's right here. You need it, Dave. There it is. There it is. Whoa! Oh my God! It it's still going. Nice skip. Nice skip. Now let's see what the judges have to say on this. A 38. A 38. A 38. Oh. Mm -hmm. But you know what else? These guys feed off. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So there's a certain amount of pride you can take in. Yeah, absolutely. When it's all over and I can't skip anymore, I'm not any good, or I can't compete, I want to look back and say, I had a hand in that. Right. A man from Gross Point Woods is officially in the Guinness Book of World Records. It's a record-setting mark of 65 skips. Wow. No way, you say. Well, there's video to prove it. And Maxwell Steiner from Gross Point Woods, you can see here, 65 times he did it this summer. Max isn't sure what's next for him. Maybe an instructional video or even a book about skipping rocks. Well, you learn something every day that uh, skipping rocks is actually an art, and now you're in the Guinness Book of World Records for it. So congratulations. Thanks. It's not fair that I would get upset with people who move faster than I do and who are more aggressive about knocking down their pins, you know. But really it's an internal frustration that I don't have what it takes to move at that pace. There are people like me who don't fit in the world as it is. Do you know why I even want the world record? It's to be heard, right? If I have the record, there will be a time when somebody will, I will stand up in front of some audience and get to say something and they will be captive. And it's an opportunity that I haven't really had in life. My 15 minutes. My mom got, she was diagnosed in July, and it just went so fast. It was harder than I thought it would be, you know. You know, you take care of her and watch her go, and, you know, that's tough to lose, you know. Even though, like, we weren't, like, super tight people, but, you know, it was hard. I mean, there was some arguing, and you know what I mean? I was like, I don't like this either, you know, but she just kind of loosened up, you know what I mean? So we kind of, we had fun, and, you know. You know, as much as we could, I think we had a good time. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be a better year because every time I do that, it just turns out fucked up. The most consecutive skips of a stone on water is 88 and was achieved by yours truly at Redbridge, PA, September 6, 2013. There it is. I guess that is what you would call the closing parenthesis of a uh, Hell of a lot of work and obsession. <laughs> How does that feel? How does it feel 
when you say you're going to do something and then you do it. <laughs> この一度ご覧いただこう。水面を滑るように跳ねていく石。この時点で17回。しかしこれはまだまだ子供の遊びレベル。その後、細かく石は跳ね、52回。世界記録の51回を更新してしまったのだ。しかしまだ終わらない。